What's going on everybody? I am DadBot and tonight's a horn tutorial. We are talking about checkpoints, how to set them, how to use them, how to make all this fun stuff happen. So let's get started. Get in loser, we're going to the internet. All right, so first things first, we have to determine which rooms are gonna get the checkpoints. You can have as many of these as you want, but uh, in Ahorn, what we have to do, so I've already defined room 12 as a checkpoint, and I think we were looking at room 24 also as a checkpoint. So what we're gonna do is uh, click our room, which is 24. We're gonna go to room, configure, and then where it says uh, checkpoint, we can just click the little checkpoint box, update, and we can see that now, a little checkpoint logo is here and we can kind of move that bad boy around wherever we want. It's just gonna go right over the first spawn point. And now this is a checkpoint. But we need to also be able to define this uh, in the games. Like the game actually knows, but the player may not know. Uh, and that's what the, the selection is for. So we're gonna dig into how to make that happen. All right, so we wanna take note in our folder, we have our maps folder here. So for me, I have Sanctuary with a capital S, I am Dad Bod, and then Sanctuary.bin with a capital S. So we gotta make sure that we have that um, in mind when we are doing this. So to get the photos in here, what we're gonna wanna do is go into our graphics folder, go into Atlases, create a folder called Checkpoints with a capital C, and then we're gonna wanna pretty much emulate what we have there. So the full, first folder was Sanctuary with a capital S, and then it was I am dad bod. And then the name of the bin is the next folder. So the bin is called sanctuary. If it was called dad sides, that's what it would be. Whatever the name of that bin is, case sensitive, that is the name of the folder. So we are gonna name that sanctuary. And then in here, we have three folders, A, B, C, all capitals. C, you could do this, but normally you wouldn't have checkpoints in a C side. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Uh, a side and B side, normally you would have checkpoints, but if you wanted one on the C side, this is how you're gonna do it. So then we're gonna load into A. And here we have our very first picture. It's gonna be start.png. And the way we're gonna get this, I'm actually gonna do this a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and just do this in real time. I'm gonna go into my game, because I don't necessarily like the way that that looks. Uh, normally in Celeste, it's um, in vanilla, it's a lot more zoomed in. So we'll, I guess we'll mess around with a couple of things. So what I'm going to do, I should probably switch to full screen, although I'm going to probably be cropping this down. So we can just grab a screenshot here and then we can move over to our favorite photo editor. And for me, we're using the best photo editor you could possibly get, Microsoft Paint. So here we're just gonna, oops, let's not do that. Let's just kind of crop out the bottom a little bit. You can use the full screen if you want, because what we're gonna end up doing after we save this is going to a website right here that I've actually linked in the description. I don't know actually really anything about this. Uh, shout out to Moon for sending this to me, but it looks like Leo60228 created a website that all we have to do is go in, we select our file, we'll select our picture here, and hit go, and it's just going to generate this image that I can right click, save image as, and I could just drop this in my graphics atlas's checkpoint sanctuary, I am dadbot sanctuary A, since I already have a start here, I'm just going to name it start, save it, yes, I want to replace it. Cool. Now that's done. So when I load in next time, it's going to show the picture that I want on there. Now you can zoom in more. I actually kind of like the way that looks. Uh, this is what I have for chapter or the first checkpoint here. I actually don't mind the way that looks at all. I think it looks pretty cool. You could have whatever you want there. Uh, so let's get one more checkpoint and we're going to do this so I can show you how that is done. And then we are going to move on to making sure that the names are done properly. So 
in Ahorn, we are back and we have defined that room number, was it 24, is going to be a checkpoint. So let's get into our map again. And for sake of this map, since I want to show off room 24, we are going to find it. It's a vertical room at 16, 24. So we are right here. And let's get just a good screenshot. I'm actually going to switch to full screen for this. Uh, let's see, where do I want? So maybe something like this. Pause it. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, if you're using controller and you use your shoulder, you can get a nice clean screenshot. So boom, screenshot. Let's flip back over to trusty, trusty Microsoft Paint. I'm going to save this as, and we are going to name this what was my room name? It is A-24. So the room name in Ahorn, A-24, save. We're gonna go back to this website, which once again, I have linked in the description below. We are going to choose our file, A-24, go, and it just automatically creates it. It's ready to go, it's beautiful. We'll save this as. And we are going to change this name to a-24 and place it right there. Make sure it's .png and save it. Once that is in there and it is ready to go, make sure our map is saved. Oof. And we will return to map. Added a couple deaths. Oh yeah, I forgot. The one thing you do have to do once you do this is you have to restart Celeste. So let's do that really quick. All right, so we are back up and we can see here now that we've loaded in, we have our three uh, checkpoints, our start, actually our start and our two checkpoints here so far. But as we can see here, there's just a whole bunch of like not cool looking text and we have to make that look better and this is kind of where you get to the point where you can name your checkpoints obviously you don't want to name your checkpoint sanctuary underscore i am dad bod underscore sanctuary underscore a i'm sure there's something else there so let's figure out why that is all right so here we're going to open up our english.txt and we are going to pretty much be doing what we've uh, been doing just calling the map so my folder was sanctuary underscore I am dad bod underscore sanctuary, which was the bin underscore the room name. Now keep in mind, any special characters just default to an underscore. So my room name for A12 is A-12. It's now A underscore 12. So we are just going to name this checkpoint one and we'll name this checkpoint, oops. Anything, obviously, that you have with the uh, little hash mark here, the game is not going to recognize. I just have this for uh, organizational purposes. We're going to save it. Swing here. We should be able to come right back in, and boom. Now we have checkpoint one, checkpoint two. You can name it whatever you want. I don't care. Um, and that's... That's it. Those are really the, the big things to, to keep in mind. Big thank you to uh, Leo60228. If that's actually who you are, I really appreciate you like having this available to us. I haven't really dug into what makes this uh, special, but you can just tell like the 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 pattern around here kind of has that that like faded look almost like it was there's like brush strokes from a paintbrush on here which is pretty darn cool uh so i've left a link to that in the description hopefully this will greatly enhance your uh your checkpoints and your chapters to make your map look even more unique and I hope this was informative to you guys let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below once again if you have not subscribed to the channel take a second go ahead and do that I'll wait thank you so much Dadbot appreciates it. And until next time, have a great night.